Thank you very much, Ronnie. I think too many people are blind by what Israel is doing. The Western propaganda is doing everything to make Palestine bad. Yeah, to me, what I see, someone asked us, I think it was Thomas that I asked us on Gilded this morning. Um, what I see is the difference between what happened before the invasion of Iraq in 2003 and what's happening now. Before the invasion of Iraq in 2003, there was a few million people that were demonstrating, trying to prevent their countries from joining the coalition of the willing, right, to invade Iraq. Those demonstrations prevented Germany, France, Canada, and a few other countries from joining the coalition of the willing, overtly anyway. Canada still supported it logistically uh, through ships and information and stuff like this, right? But there was dissent in the Western world and some countries did not participate, right? Compare that to what's happening right now, where the whole Western world, the leaders anyway, the puppet regimes are together all in support of war, 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 right? On one side, there's very little dissent among the puppets in the Western world, the globalists, that say, hey, let's have a ceasefire, let's have peace, right? They're all pushing for war. That's one big difference between the two. The other big difference is during the protest in 2003, I was at the ones in Vancouver. It was, it brought tears to my eyes. They were, they were so powerful because I've been going to protest since pre-invasion of Afghanistan, right? And it was 20 people, 50 people max, right? This one had like, 30 to 50,000 people in Vancouver. It was huge, right? But there was around 8 million people before the invasion of Iraq began around the world that demonstrated, right? That prevented some nations from joining. But there was a shit ton of people that were still in support of invading Iraq, right? There was a lot of people. That was minority, by the way, 8 million people or something demonstrating. Right, but the majority of people in Canada, United States, were all gung ho. Let's go invade Iraq. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Majority of people were for it. I was in it. They were they were blind. They were fools. Low IQ mofos. Right. Low IQ knew nothing of history. Knew nothing of geopolitics. Knew nothing of domestic politics. Knew nothing of economics. Knew nothing about anything that was relevant in the world. I got into so many arguments with people, right? I ditched a shitload of friends during that period, right? So there was still a lot of people that were pro invade Iraq. Right now, what I'm seeing. 90 by 90 percent plus of the world is calling what Israel is doing genocide don't let mainstream propaganda and stuff fool you CNN Fox BBC Guardian and all this crap CBS all this crap saying Israel has a right to protect itself and all this jazz right they're the minority now right 90 plus percent of the world I'm following the news 95 90 plus percent I'll say I wasn't gonna say 95 but let's say 90 percent of the world disagrees with what is taking place 95 90 percent of the world wants to cease fire 95 90 percent of the world wants the UN resolution for if they know about it for Palestine to be abided by Israel and for Israel to stop stealing Palestinian land and to stop this genocide. 90% 90, 90 of the world considers this genocide. Forget about what Western propaganda is saying. You dig down, majority of the world considers this genocide. As some commentators have stated, such as Douglas MacArthur, Scott Ritter, the Duran, uh, Gideon Levy, oh, countless people that know what the hell is going on they're afraid that Israel may not exist when it all is said and done not because they're going to get annihilated but because they are committing genocide and the world is watching and the world is appalled okay the world is appalled 
of what Israel is doing. Okay. And people are now digging into the history and going, holy shit, this isn't something new. This has been a slow paced genocide for a long time. They're just going all out with it now. And it's bringing the world to the brink of World War Three. And people do not want World War Three, especially in the Western world, the citizens, because they're on the wrong side of it this time very dangerous times very dangerous uh, very different circumstances from 2003 to 2023 20 years difference western economies completely collapsing russia was not strong china was just rising in 2003 right china was seeing major growth you know 20 30 percent per year um, I used to get into a lot of discussions about China, China's economy in 2001, 2001, 2000, 2001 with people uh, in the cigar lounge. There's a lot of high end people that were coming there and I was talking with them and they were talking about China rising. We talked a lot about that. Right. But the West was hegemonic power militarily. No one could stand against them it's a different game now it's a different game completely different things happening this is extremely dangerous times gang be aware of what's taking place okay that's my little intro to that as well i'm just gonna keep on going